well, I got around and ordered some new components, so this video is about that and how I install them, but first, let's meet the new awesome components. So I got myself a Samsung 850 EVO SSD of uh, the 250GB, um, I already opened this package uh, to try and install Windows on it, and didn't work yet, but going to try another time. Uh, the SSD itself is really light and I'm mainly going to use it uh, to run Windows and maybe a few games on it. And here we have our steel packed power supplies which I'm going to unpack uh, right now. Um, this power supply is a CX750M from Crossair. Uh, it's, an, it's, an, it's a nice power supply, so let's open it, um, it has a power supply cable, some garbage we can throw away, some nice and handy tie rips which uh, will come in handy later, a lot of modular cables which will come back uh, later, and the power supply itself. The power supply itself has two cables for the motherboard and processor, uh, which is uh, these two cables on this side. Um, these cables, uh, one is for the motherboard, the 24 pin connector, and the other one is the for the CPU. Um, because of these cables, that makes it a similar modular power supply. <laughs> I know this is really overkill, but I need it to be uh, quiet uh, and the fans to spin less and so uh, make less noise. So if I'm using everything on this power supply, uh, it's still quiet. Uh, which is really nice. So about uh, the cables, we have two of these. These are the uh, the the six pins to, with the two pins next to it twice uh, with an eight pin. So eight pin to twelve two times six pin plus two pins. We have two of those cables. We also have. Um, two of the uh, six pin to four SATA uh, cables and the second one uh, I both need them also two old power connectors I forgot how they call but uh, I need one of those for my fan and then the most awesome component of them all the MSC 970 uh, for a gig video card um, so let's open our app uh, this video card is a huge improvement uh, of the last one because this is the 970 GTX and I used to have a GT640, so that's a big improvement. So here we have this thing, I think this is the paperwork and the small cables. Oh yeah, this is an uh, 8 to 6 pin adapter, uh, then a lot of stuff we can throw away. Uh, and oh yeah, this is the thing I needed. Um, this is a VGA to DVA adapter, which I need for my main screen so more garbage and then we have the big beast a 970 video card which I really like so uh, let's open her up just removing this one seal and then we can take this baby out of there and get it out of its package so uh, I choose this thing this this video card just let remove the sticker from my fans <laughs> do you got it for my fans, because I have two fans, one red one and a black one. Um, I choose this one, I know it has a, a little bit of coil wine, but uh, not too much. I choose this one because of the fans, they are really quiet and they are not on most of the times. So uh, this video card's a DVA, uh, tw two times DVA, one uh, analog and one digital. Uh, it also has HDMI and a display port. Um, the one DVA I'm going to use for my one screen, the other one I'm going to convert to VGA, the HDMI for my TV and the display port for future updates if I want to. So this card can, uh, I can use it for years. Also it has the uh, um, 60x16 PCA uh, slot. So this is the half of my stripped current PC. I already took almost everything what I do not need out of there, except for my RAM, my CPU with my CPU cooler, and the old power supply, what I'm going to try using for the Windows installation, and also I will just switch over. Um, I took the GT640 from ASUS out of there, uh, just for, to make the installation easier. Um, now I just need to 
take that data cable from this hard disk and then everything is not connected to two hard disks, the SSD uh, and the CD player is not connected anymore so I can now start the installation of the Windows. Also all other stuff like this USB cable at the back is not connected, front USB is not connected, only the back one is connected which where the USB is. Now a little bit a part of a number, so you Cinebench, I know it's not really good to bench it this way, but Cinebench, uh, the OpenGL has 59.32 frames per second, and the GPU has 429, 29, right? yeah, 29 CV. And then a fun part, um, this old setup runs on an Intel Core E5 3550 CPU, 4 cores, 4 threads, 3.4 gigahertz. But the new part also runs that, but apparently it's running at four. Uh, it gives a rating of 499 CV, which is fun because I did it over and over again, and both of those results are the same. The new one is slightly better, which doesn't make sense. But apparently, I think my theory is that the old system had some GPU problems, and now the new system is taking over full GPU. And so the loads is getting less on my GPU, the CPU. Uh, for the OpenGL score, we reached uh, a nine uh, eighty three point eighty three frames per second to the same numbers. I know that's really, really fun. Um, for the OpenGL version, which is a bit better, so both results were better, and I'm happy with the system. So what I've learned from the system is one to turn autofocus off. 
if you're doing a time lapse or doing cameras and I will do that in all the next videos I will uh, because that didn't quite work just set it up and never change it again would be way better and also turn off the uh, the color change I don't know if you notice but sometimes my camera changes colors um, also I've been working really long to get the cable man management working and that part I enjoy the most uh, and the video making part which I'm doing right now but uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video and hope to see you next time with a different video. Goodbye.